Hello everyone, what is up y'all? I am here today playing the Milk Quest. You might have remembered me talking about this game in my last video because I realized the creators were the same because the sound a lot of the sound effects were the same. I haven't played this game in ages, but I remember I used to play it all the time when I was tiny, you know? So let's get on with the video. So we have a little kitty, and he's so happy, but he's hungry. Remember this, he's hungry. He wants the milk! So he looks in the canister for the milk, and there isn't any. So he's all like, hey, he gets so sad. But then a map whacks him on the head, and he's like, what the heck? So he looks at the map, and it tells him to find the milk treasure, and he has to go through all this craziness to get to the milk. I forgot about that part. Help the cat find the milk treasure. Okay, so first off, let's name our cat. This little kitty is gonna be Chris. No, why did I say Chris? It's gonna be Milo. This is Milo, everybody. Go, Milo, go! I like this music, man. Surely remembering this. Oh man, I'm sorry. The <laughs> I'm gonna click the cat because my face is in the way. There's a little spider guy. Now we can open the lid, unlock the door, and the shopping cart, and go. I'm like actually remembering all of these levels. I like remember how to do that mostly. Oh yeah, and then you make the flower boom. The bee goes to the flower. You open up the, the nest, you open the thingy, again, my face is in the way of the cat. There we go, I'll move it right there. Oh um, yeah, you put the stones down, he's in like the sewers, I guess. Hey, stop it. You have to wake up the, the mouth with the worm, and then move this here, and then- How do I remember all- I must have played this game, like, every day of my life. And to be honest, I think I did. So you gotta put the gas on the fire. I mean, on the wood. Just stick the fire on there. Hey, look, it's his birthday! Still, I'm sorry, guys, my face keeps being in the way of, like, the cat. See, he keeps going in that, that little corner. Oh, I know what to do. So you won't be able to see my face. But, um, actually, wait, I can still see my face, so that doesn't actually work for me. Um... Okay, well, let's build up this guy, and then all of these tiki guys are all like, We won't let you through, cause we're mean, and then it's up, uh, my face is here again. <coughs> and then they see the, their thingy, and they're like, oh, our godly figure. So they're like, ah, how to see him. They start praising him, because they love their godly figure. You open up the eyes, you got a key, you got a door. You got a cat who needs to go get some milk. We got a beaver here. Oh yeah, you have to put the battery in the alarm. We got the mama bird who goes and she's all like, Did you trap my birds in that tree? And she like untraps her birds and you let her little babies get out of the tree. And then this guy gets And then this guy gets happy. No, he gets mad. He puts out his frustration as chopping down that tree for us. And now we can move. Bye, Beaver. Thank you. Alright. And so this Egyptian girl is mad because she wants to have her nose back on the Sphinx. But you just put on the nose, which actually is not actually on the Sphinx. And she's like, oh, here, take the key. I'm so happy you found the nose. So you open the door. A little cat goes. Here's a little Egyptian guy. He won't give you the crystal until he has his leg, which his again behind my face all right now he's all like oh hey i take the crystal and so you open up the first guy and then you open up the second guy and the second guy has the key so you use the key and you get through so does this look familiar what's that red spider they're doing oh oh wait sorry I have to press Spider-Man! 
we got Spider-Man here now, and he moves the stick for us, so that comes down on the alligator, and you're able to get on the boat and move away. First off, we gotta get this oiled up so we can move it. We move it, and it goes down onto the octopus, and yay, now we have this cane, where we knock on the door, because we're polite. Now comes a turtle! And now, we can walk across. Also, I just realized you could... Oh, no! I forgot about the giant ape. He's a scary giant ape. Okay, so this little guy's ball is over here, so you gotta get him his ball. And then he stops crying, so you can get the key, which you can put in here. And then, open the door. Hey you. Hey you. You did piano and you did center stage. Yeah. What about homework? I just did it. There was this recording. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't think that's still the recording. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> to be honest, I don't actually care that she was in it, so. We're just gonna keep going. She was just making sure I had everything done before I was playing a game. And now the weight is unbalanced, so you can trap the like, little ape guy. Little ape guy. Hmm. That was not what I meant to say. Well, here is an alien. He's all like, I need to buy. You're going down. And the sensei guy is like, I need the bridge. So you open up the bridge, and he goes, Yes. And he goes, and he goes, Karate chap. And you push the little button, sends a signal to his UFO over there, comes over, takes the alien up, and away, and we take the little kitty away. Alright, so we got some toothpaste here, flop that on, oh, it's, it's glue. Stick on the head with the little piggies. Now we get the key from the big fat wolf. You open the door and away goes the kitty. Alright. Next up there's this really mean owl dude. Who won't give us that. So we gotta get the birds on our side to help us out a little bit. And he chops off the coconut which falls on his head so we can use the thingy. We pull it off. We put in a straw. We give it to the bull who drinks it. He's like, oh! It's hot and spicy energy drink! Pfft. I don't know why I said hot and spicy, but he's like, oh, I just dropped down that drink for a fall, and I'm like, thank you! Alright, I remember this guy. This guy is really cute. He's a little Einstein guy. But he doesn't actually help us. He... No. He doesn't help us at all. Well, but we help him anyways. He uses his little screwdriver thing to put in this mechanic stuff and now we have a bridge and we start walking ah, and we fall and we need this angel guy's help he's a pretty chill angel he's sick pretty lit so we have to drop these rocks down oh my gosh which one do we drop yes and now we have this so we use this and we go blink blink and now we have a halo. And he's like, oh, now that I have my halo, I will be nice and grant you safety. And we go, oh, we fall! Oh, cloud. We walk across. Next up comes this big old mean yeti guy. This big old mean yeti guy. He's not a big old happy yeti guy. Oh, you have to put them all up in a certain order. That's so lame. Okay. So we have that. Send a signal here. Oh, sorry on him. He goes, I'm not wearing anything! And he just sits there all embarrassed and we're like, see ya. We walk across and we're almost to the milk! But we have to get past this wheel. Dumb god. To spin the wheel. No, there's a little. What the heck? What do I do? I don't remember what to do. Oh, there's a little thing right there. So we guess. 
It's on that thing. I don't even know what he's saying. He says, Oh, he's in the other order. There we go. What the heck? Ah, the wind blows down the apple, which gets him covered in tar. Oh no. Make the arrow up. And there's a mean doggy! I like doggies, but not this doggy. This doggy, I mean, maybe yells at us. Oh, we put that power switch open, and there's a bone! He's all like, boom! And he runs away with the bone. So he's not a very good doggy. If we get this key, we open this up. Oh, I remember this. It gives us a code, and we have to do that code opposite. Come on, I know that's what we did. Unless it was like... Wait, what's this? What? I don't know what to click anymore. Oh, there's a there's a clever on there too. The man. Now we get a ladder, and we get the kitty. Who is so happy? Oh yes. Pull down this tube. Spin the cork. Glorious milk. Glorious milk. Mm. The end. So that's how we helped the little kitty. What are they called? I named him Milo. Hey Milo. That's how we helped Milo get his milk. So I guess this was kind of a walkthrough video. I don't know. I just did this game all the time and I was like, what are you looking at? There's there, there there's nothing delicious up there. Did you see that? He was like So obviously he's blind and couldn't even see milk. There probably was milk in that canister and he couldn't see it. I just helped a blind cat get magical milk. Magical milk. Magical milk. Okay, well, there you go. Sorry, I didn't like the music. Okay, well, there you guys go. There was another outstanding Just Alley video for you. And again, um, Sally and I have been trying to get together a bit of time. And she went out of town recently, so that didn't work very well. But this weekend, um, we'll probably record and you can expect a video probably someday during the weekday or maybe even that week. Um, I guess that's all I have for you today. I helped the kitty get milk today. I'm so interesting. <laughs> Alright, have a good day my peeps, see ya.